So, a nice close shave. Here's a story about a man who had a very close shave. The man from Iron Bark. It was the man from Iron Bark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park. He wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. Until at last, in sheer despair, he sought a barber's shop. Here, shave my beard and whiskers off. I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney toff up home in Iron Bark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash. He smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note and keen at repartee. He laid the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. When he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark. Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Ironbark. There were some gilded youths that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. To them the barber passed the wink, his dexter eyelid shut. I'll make this bloomin' yokel think, his bloomin' throat is cut. And as he soaked and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. I suppose the flats is pretty green up there in Iron Bar. A grunt was all reply he got. He shaved the bushman's chin. Then made the water boiling hot and dipped the razor in. He raised his hand. His brow grew black. He paused the while to gloat. Then slashed the red-hot razor across his victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin, it made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, the man from Iron Bark. He fetched a wild upcountry yell, might well, wake the dead to hear. And though his throat, he knew full well, was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and faced the murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog, I'm beat. One hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark, but you'll remember all your life, the man from Ironbark. He lifted up his hairy paw, and with one tremendous clout, he landed on the barber's jaw and knocked the barber out. He set to work with nail and tooth. He made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gilded youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while, his throat he held to save his vital spark. And murder, bloody murder, yelled the man from Ironbark. Peeler man who heard the din came in to see the show. He tried to run the bushman in, but he refused to go. When at last the barber spoke, he said "Twas all in fun. "'Twas just a little harmless joke, a trifle overdone. A joke, he cried. By oh, George, that's fine. A lively sort of lark. I'd like to catch that murdering swine some night in Ironbark. Now, while round the shearing floor, the listening shearers gape. He tells the story, o'er and o'er, and brags of his escape. Then barber chaps, what keeps a tote, by George I've had enough. One tried to cut my blooming throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. And whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark, that flowing beards are all the go way up in Ironbark.